Hi guys. Just on my way to a job in Widendine. It's um, proper fresh today. I've been out. Um, I've been out this morning just quoting a couple of jobs, and I had to go home and change my coat. I put my bigger coat on. It is freezing. Um, but yeah, so on my way to a job in Widendine. Um, this is a this is a job that I quoted um, for this guy about three weeks ago, and he's got a Mercedes uh, van that he's bought. Uh, with and it's already, already come with um, security deadlocks on it, but um, they didn't give him the key, so uh, he obviously isn't able to use them. So what we're going to do? We're going to go there, uh, get the uh, gain access to the lock. So basically, as you know, probably if you've watched any of my videos before, I, I, even in a situation where I can. For, for speed and quickness and ease, I can drill the locks out. I tend to not to do that. I still would rather try and pick them um, or bump them or, or use any other method. I only really use drilling as a last resort. So, and that's even even if we're not able to use these locks, I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. I still would rather not have to get my drill out um, or my die grinder. <laughs> um, so yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go there, get the locks out, so obviously we have to pick them or you know bump them to get them out um, and then I can measure the locks um, to be able to order him some new ones from locks for vans um, so yeah I think there's one on the side door and one on the rear barn door so we're going to uh, go and do that and then we can measure them and get some new ones ordered for the guy see you there right guys this is going to be a fun one someone like this Mercedes so like I said the guy bought the van and it already had these locks on security locks but these bad boys don't know if you can see that they've been sprayed in so one on the side and that one on the back um they've been painted in so i've got to try and <laughs> got to try and get these open if i can't like i say if i can't pick it or bump it then i'll just have to drill them but i just don't like anything can happen if i slip off that off that cylinder and it scratches the van so I mean, anyway, let's give it a go. Right, I've given it a good spray of that GT85, let that sink in, and I thought, oh, I'll just try my bump keys in there, but it's actually a security keyway, so I haven't got a bump key, believe it or not, out of that fits it, so you're gonna have to try and use the EPG. Right, unfortunately, guys, this isn't, uh, this isn't picking. Uh, the one at the back I've tried as well is solid with paint, that one's not even, the core's not even moving. This one's not picking, so I'm afraid it's time for these little bad boys. There you go, guys. That's the first one. It's just down there. So yeah, like I said, I had to drill it. So yeah, we'll, do, we'll do the same on this one. But I've tried uh, moving that cord with a screwdriver as well. There's just nothing there. It's solid because of the paint. Okay, so we've got the old seams out. I've put a bit of tape over the old. I could. Could put the uh, the old cylinders back in, but um, I think it just makes it a little bit vulnerable. I don't know. I think I'd rather do that. So anyway, I've just been on the phone for half an hour on, on hold to uh, lots for vans to try and get uh, um, try and order these new locks, but I can't get any answer. So I'm gonna have to carry on while I uh, make my way home. Right, guys, you're just about to see a lovely football stadium. Look at that! She come over the hill. Right in Ove Albion football stadium for my American friends, Jay, Lox, NY. All you guys, this is soccer, proper football. <laughs> I don't want to start an argument. Uh, yeah, that's the home of Brighton and Ove Albion. They're in the um, in the top flight of the English football Premier League. Hi guys, just had a call from a, um, a hotel in Central Brighton, um, one of, I think it's a hotel, or might, might even be a hostel, uh, they, um, one of the guys that are staying there, they've, uh, apparently they've, they've uh, either snapped the key or the key's not working in the door, I couldn't really sort of tell me exactly what was going on, but um, yeah, I'm sure we'll find out pretty soon, so we're going to head there and see if we can get this sorted for them. Job here. <coughs> this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, so the customers uh, 
come home it's a little flat and I'm not able to the key because now um, the actual light latch is jamming can't get the key out doesn't matter which way you turn it but it won't turn to the right position anyway it's just getting jammed won't slip and the uh, snibs dropped on the inside so we're going to have to drill this bad boy out Actually, yeah, I wedged it in the end, as you can see by the picture. So I didn't need to drill it. So once the cylinder could be kept um, all working, and just replace the night latch with a light for like. Oof, still absolutely freezing. Uh, that job um, literally come in uh, while I was on my way home, and uh, <coughs> it was for a hotel in Brighton, Central Brighton, and. Um, yeah, it was just a cheap night latch on the back. They don't want to spend any money, these places. And uh, yeah, the uh, the snib had dropped. Um, no letterbox. I mean, there's only two ways you can ever get in these, and that's uh, you've either got to air wedge it and, and bar it, which is what I ended up doing again, or you have to drill it. Um, they call it Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse technique. Um, but thankfully, it, um, the air wedging and the pry bars is the, the best um, the best way to try and do that, and, and it works. So, and the customer actually had uh, because it's a hotel, they've got loads and loads of spares. So they actually had a, a new night latch that I was able to put on because the one that was on there, you can probably see, it was um, absolutely knackered. So, right, uh, six twenty-four in the evening. And uh, I'm going home. I'm just going to quickly show you this lovely, the lovely clock tower in Brighton. I mean, excuse the uh, moped, the moped there, but um, yeah, Brighton, they do do a, a, a nice job decorating it at Christmas time. Looks lovely. Uh, yeah, all right, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Another little short video, but um, thanks for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please like the video and put any nice comments below. Thanks guys. Oh my God, it's freezing in here. Um, just on my way to go and see uh, an old pal of mine, Tony. Um, haven't seen him for a while. But uh, he, wants, um, he wants a key cut, or two keys cut for motorbike so I'm just gonna go and pop and see him see if I'm able to do that I don't think I'm gonna have the key blanks but I can, uh, I can get them ordered for him and um, yeah get them, get them cut for him so I'm gonna go and pop and see him for a nice coffee before I go over to um, hopefully do these van locks when they arrive <laughs> freezing how we doing guys right we are on our way to Go and fit these um, van locks uh, for the guy um, in Brighton. Um, they've just arrived, so I'm going to get them done. I, th I think he's, he's going to be quite pleased because I, I know that I'm pretty sure he wanted them done before the weekend, actually. So, and uh, I'll show you when I get. I don't know if, don't know if I showed you in the last video, but um, uh, I obviously had to drill the locks out. Um, because I weren't able to pick them because they've been sprayed so the core and the pins were just covered in paint um, not ideal so I've drilled them out anyway and um, yeah you, you'll uh, I, what I did I, I, I said to him I could put the I could put the locks back in the holes um, but I think they just look vulnerable vulnerable you know where I've drilled them and uh, so what I did, I just put a bit of black tape over the over the escutcheon plates. Um, and I'm hoping that was kind of well. Do you know what? He hasn't phoned me to say that someone's tried getting in, so it must have worked. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's get over there and uh, we we'll get these fitted. Um, and then we're going to go and do uh, some window handles. Um, I've got 20 window handles to fit um, in Hove. Um, so then we're going to go and do that. I was hoping I'll have, I was, I've ordered a, a Yale uh, smart lock to arrive 
um, for a job in Brighton, um, but I don't think that's going to come till a bit later today. So probably do that Monday. Um, yeah, actually, it's probably going to work out well because I need to go and get my my barnet chopped because it's looking. I've got bed hair. I haven't I haven't showered this morning. Uh, you know, uh, I've got bed hair and I'm out tonight um, on a Christmas do. So I need to try and go and get my barnet chopped before I go and. Uh, before we go there, so busy day. Oh, right, here we are, guys. Back of this, this lady. So we just got a slide. Like I said, I'll put a bit of tape over the two. Um, the two bolts that I had to drill out the other day. Because of the paint. So these are the new cylinders. We just got to slide these in. So nice and easy. These are my go to, go to locks, locks with hands. just replace the cylinders for them, but that's for the time. Now to have to lean on that. Oh, blimey. What it's doing, I'll show you. So the bolt. rubbing against that edge there and because that's riveted in it's not going to be much I'm going to be able to do with that so but if you lean on it it does uh it does lock so you just gonna have to do that right so now we're going to do the same with this one get the tape off that I put on just now protect it and uh it's a case of one screw that is Right, my video cut out then, just as I was finishing off. Right, this one's in, uh, it's locked. And I love, there we go. So, um, yeah, as I said to you on the way over, the, um, the old locks have been sprayed in, so I weren't able to, to pick these because all the pins were stuck with, with paint and all sorts. Uh, and on the one on the side, a quick show you, this one here is fine, the escutcheon plate there. They didn't spray over, so that looks fine. The one on the side around here, when they sprayed the cylinder, they've also sprayed the, the escutcheon plate, the cover plate. Uh, and where I've put tape on it, it's, it's peeled it all off, but I just have to say to the customers, just, just scrape that off and look fine. Right, so that's all done. Uh, these come with three keys. Um, all three keys do both both locks, so he only needs one key on his, 
on his kit tag. Um, and that one key will do both of these locks and he's got two spare. They also come with a key card, so if he does need to order any more, uh, he's got a key card he can just find up himself and, and get some more ordered. But um, yeah, that's this job done. So uh, we are off next to the window handles in Hove. So my remote controls in my pocket, so I'm going to use this one. You know what? I just wanted to say that there's some really lovely people out there. He was so happy so pleased he loved he loved what i've done and you know whenever i leave a, a leave a job i always ask them if they would mind if i drop them a text or an email with some review links um you know to check a trade and google um trust pilot you know and i always say, I always say to them look that there's there'll be about three or four links on there if, if you didn't mind leaving me a review I, i'd be really really appreciative and uh he was more than happy like he was so happy and um you know, and then you get you get other guys that are just. I've, I've had a customer once before, and uh, I said to him the same. I said, obviously, I don't expect you to, to leave a, a review of all of them. You know, if you could just leave me one, you know, Google or Checker Trade would be great. And he went, no, no, I'm not doing it. Don't get me wrong. I'm really, really happy with your work. Um, you know, I can't fault you, but I just don't don't get involved in reviews, which you know, literally, I don't think customers realise that it would literally take not even five minutes because you can even if you wanted to do more than one review it, it would you can copy and paste the same review to all of them and, and even doing that would probably take no more than about six or seven minutes probably to do them to all of them so to do them to one would take three minutes but anyway you know people some people just don't but anyway what my point is i'm going on i'm rambling on um my point is that he was a lovely, lovely guy and he's more than happy. So hopefully I should get a couple of reviews, get back from that guy. Um, anyway, I'm a little bit early actually to go to the windows. I've put them in for, well, they've asked me to go there after one o'clock and it's only quarter past 12. And it's only probably, what, 10 minutes away from, from uh, where I am. So I'm going to detour home actually and see if I can squeeze a sandwich in or something. I should eat really. I'm out tonight, as I said. Um, so that would be bad news if I didn't eat any lunch. Oof, probably wouldn't last very long, would I? <laughs> there we go, guys. This is my delivery from the doubles of all the handles. So we've got 20 handles here to change, um, and they're going just replacing all of these. And then there's some more upstairs, and so it shouldn't be too bad. They're just called cool. these ones are Cox Bell. Oh, hello. Looking van that is. Yeah, these are Coxbur handles, so shouldn't take too long to do. Guys, brand spanking day. It's locked. That's unlocked. Unlocked. One down, nineteen to go.
me done for the day guys. I am going to get my hair cut. In fact, that's me done for the weekend. I'm, um, I'm out for a posh meal tonight with some friends for Christmas. And then I'm going to another friend's for dinner tomorrow night. So that is me. I'm probably not going to be working over the weekend. In fact, those Google ads are being turned off as soon as I stop. Um, yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching again, guys. As always, really appreciate it. Appreciate everyone's support. You've been really lovely, actually. I've had some really nice, uh, really nice comments. Um, but yeah, as always, um, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, put any nice comments below. And um, if you don't already, please subscribe. Um, I'm actually up to about, I think it was about 66 the last time I checked, which is great. Um, I started off, I think I started off with 13 and that was all like friends and family, I believe. Um, but yeah, up to 66, so that's really good. So yeah, like I say, if you don't if you don't already subscribe, please please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then you'll get a, get a little notification for when I do my next video. So, um, but honestly, thank you guys, really appreciate it. And see you all next week. Thank you.